have an amazing participant enjoying the, the day. What's your favorite part about walking on stilts? You can see all the way down there, right? Yeah. <laughs> What's your name? Sophie. Sophie. How long have you been doing this? Four years. Four years? Do you go to bed with them on, at night? No. Oh, is your, tall, is your bed really tall? <laughs> what what made you want to uh, try on stilts? It runs in the family. It runs in the family. <laughs> you guys had something to do with this. Okay, very nice. It's totally inspiring to feel really cool. into adults. Um, it's, it's it's a good thing to yeah. be able to. And then do you guys wear your stilts all together? We do. Sometimes we do that. Costumes. Oh, I'd love to see that. Yeah. That's so cool. Have you ever been on TV before? Yeah, but I've been on a website. On a website? That's almost as good as TV. Hi. So Sophie and I met at a festival, Solano Stroll, which is a fantastic event. Um, and I was just taken by her height, for sure and um, her charisma and charm, and, and um, uh, how old are you? I'm 10. And how long have you been stilt walking? Four years. So since you were six, does your, do your stilts grow when you get taller or older? Yes, I, this is pretty much, well, I used my cousin's stilts before. Can you face the camera? <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm using these, which is three foot two. And how tall are you now that you're the extra three foot two? Seven feet two. All right. Cool. And um, I, I feel like I want to walk like you, too. <laughs> I want to walk like you. I want to be a mermaid. Um, and then so how, um, so your parents are also stilt walkers. Is that right? And your family. Can you tell me a little bit about that? We've been stilt walking for 20 years in the 4th of July parade and in Vermont. And it's just really fun. Yeah. What do you like about it? It inspires other kids, and it's just fun. It's like a hobby. Yeah. I, I understand you've actually taught other kids and other, other families how to still walk too, right? Yeah. So there's kind of an empowerment about it, because like, like you think, oh, I could never do that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you do. You know how to do it. So um, can you show us your stilts? Cause should I hold on to that hula hoop there? Because we're going to get to that in a minute. Wow, so their legs aren't really t so long. They're just right there. So um, there's a website that's going to be coming up underneath her name, Stiltwalker, Stiltwalkman, Stiltman.com, Stiltman.com, where you can learn to make your own stilts. So tell us about what you have constructed here. Well, these are just basically wood that we bought, and then we carved the foot things. And we put straps that are attached with Velcro and put glue on them. These are just Velcro. <laughs> and okay. yeah. And uh, something else to pad it here. Yeah, the um here where my knees are, so it's a little bit more cushiony. It's um camping pad that you sleep on. So we just cut it up and put it there. Well, you're, you're very inventive, and I understand there's something underneath the bicycle tires or something to pe keep it from slipping on the bottom. So there's the wood, and then there's a flip-flop material. And uh, down there, there's mountain bike tires that we cut up. And, yeah, so it keeps me from slipping. So I'm going to give you back your hula hoop here for a minute, and I'm going to pull that down for you. Yep. And uh, I understand you could do the hula hoop while still walking. And let me just see if I can gently pull this down there. We have our friend Leonard Sherman on clarinet over on the small stage there, who is going to be performing a little clarinet duo for you can start a little bit of music there if you'd like. And, uh, mm -hmm. and
keeps going. That's great. Excellent. Thank you, Sophia. Thank you, Sophie. And thank you, Leonard. Thank you so much for being on the Berserkly Live show. We'll see you again in the world and keep inspiring others to do things that they don't think that they can do. Okay, okay.